Good evening, Chicago. This is Channel Two Fake News. Coming to you live from our state-of-the-art studios. Sports with Orny Dick. And weather with Amanda Panda. Headlines with Isaac Perez and Anupi Snoopy. Good morning, Chicago. My name is Anupi Snoopy. Today, we have the updates for the bombing in the Near East. Strangely, the bombing seemed to target all male crowds, with 666 fatalities and not one female injured. Now, how is that? Here's a sketch of a suspect. The suspect appears to be a female between 5'2 and 5'4, with about 150 pounds, and she was last seen with green clothing and, and a pink veil. Um, for further information, uh, back to you, Isaac. Thanks, Anu. Any leads regarding the bombings near East can be phoned into 1-800-INFO-FOR-US. In international news, today in the United Emirates States, a man just bought a vanity license for $14 million. I tell ya, the oil rich fat cats swimming in oil. In today's national news, the presidential race across America has an unexpected candidate. Speedy Gonzalez is now in second place, according to a Cartoon Network poll. In Cuba, Castro resigns as Cuba's president after being offered a position in Barack Obama's presidential campaign. Looks like those health benefits lured him in. Yeah. Okay, well, the new IC News, the not-for-profit vegetarian advocacy group known as V for Vegetables had a great night last night at its annual bake sale. Afterwards, they went out to Chinatown and ate what they thought was pecan duck. Next. In India, a teacher tickles a student into a coma. <laughs> well, How did that work for you? That was the best one. Um, all right, well, due to recent bottled water taxes imposed on the city of Chicago, many have rebelled by mimicking what was the Boston Tea Party. Last night, many Chicagoans went out to Lake Michigan and emptied out thousands of water bottles. Well, in local news, Rumor has it that the new CTA train cards are to arrive in 2010, surprisingly to include porta potties to accommodate bums. And the continuing popularity of Wii's have little girls everywhere aching for a week. Well, that's no. right. <laughs> well, thank you, Isaac, for the story. Okay, well, that is for now. Thanks for listening to Channel 2 Thirds News and stay classy, Sandy. I mean, Chicago. Wait. Doors open, sleep, jingle bells. Thanks, Isaac. That's right. It's looking pretty chilly out there right now, but it's supposed to warm up by the end of the week. For Monday, you can see it's going to be cloudy out. We're going to have the low of 21 and a high of 28. So make sure you're all bundled up. And there's about a 75% chance of snow heading our way. And scratch that. Looks like it's going to be a 100% chance of snow for Monday. All right, for Tuesday, we are looking at partly cloudy. You can see the sun a little bit. It's going to be about 42 degrees as the low, and it's going to be 45 degrees as the high. And then chance of wind is going to be 15 and 2 thirds percent. For Wednesday, so we're looking at a little bit of rain. It's going to be low is going to be 62, and high is going to be about 69. Make sure you have your umbrellas with you. Alright, for Thursday, it's looking really sunny out there. It's going to be really warm. 
It's going to reach about 85 degrees out there, so make sure you have some sunscreen on. Winds are going to reach about 3.65 miles per hour. And for Friday, not one cloud in sight and no chance of rain. And the high is going to reach a blistering 105 degrees. This is Orny Dick with sports on Channel 2 Thirds. Here's an interesting story. Paris Hilton decides to play rugby. The position she was assigned was the hooker. And on the first play of the game, she got dicked in the face. On other sports, Tom Brady will be charged $250,000 for unsportsmanship-like conduct on the field. As the ref was blowing the whistle, Brady was blowing the ref. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys went on an 80-yard touchdown catch by Terrell Owens. He's got great hands and he always goes deep. He could go all the way. The Buffalo Bills won their first game on a 60-yard run by Britney Spears. After the game, she was quoted saying, My hole was so big that you could run a truck through it. Bears running back Cedric Benson scored two touchdowns against the Eagles. The first touchdown, he had to stretch it in. The second touchdown, he had to pound it in. The Eagles will be feeling that tomorrow. In other sports, Barry Bonds couldn't break the home run record because he's got four balls. The steroids are misshaping his body. Dennis Rodman was ejected from the game because his purse didn't match his shoes. Mike Tyson's trainer is being suspended because he told Tyson before the fight to get a piece of Holyfield. Excuse me, folks. Oh, hey, folks. Finally, with sports today, the Patriots were quoted saying, We lost the Super Bowl on purpose because we are sick of going to Disneyland. And that is sports with Orny Dick.